Here is my Techno EB48 2.0. I just figured I'd give a little update on it after running all last year. All the things that are just completely worn out on it. Um, I did have parts for it. I mean, I could have fixed it, but I didn't have the time because I was dealing with getting the house. Uh, I didn't have the money at the time to order the parts that I needed as well. So I just kind of patched it up or just let it just go. That's why I didn't really run it very much at Otterville last year. Uh, so I was running the, the Truggy all the time. Mostly because it was new and everything's still all nice and tight on it. So don't have to do much with that. Just maybe some shock oils. And I think I'm going to change the diff oils out again. But this one is basically the big problem. Um, like last year, I changed out this end and pivot ball because it was so worn out that it would just come right off. And then you can kind of see on the inside there, you can see the shininess at the bottom. That's all worn out. Basically, even in the in the uh, upper here, all worn out. So I have all new pivot balls and uh, rod end set. Like I already have the ends. I just need the pivot balls. Um, just because there's way too much play in there. Even the one, the little one off the servo. Got new pivot balls coming for that as well because that's completely worn out. So mostly from all the dust. If you're going in a dusty track and the car just gets covered in dust all the time, you're going to be going through the pivot balls and the rod ends like links all the time now. So I'm going to make one nice set with these titanium ones. Uh, with the titanium uh, links. I'm going to make one set for basically Otterville. And then I'll use the stock steel ones and maybe use whatever good ends are kind of good on here as basically my dusty track. So when I go to the dusty track, I'll put those on because who cares. And then when I go to the good track, I'll keep the nice good ones on there. Because mostly when you do an adjustment and there's play in it, there's no point in doing the adjustment because it's it has all that play in it. It's just going to change. You hit a bump, it's going to go one way. You hit a bump, goes the other way. So there's no point. It's just like a real car. You got play in your... Uh, tie rods or ball joints there's no point in doing alignment on your car because it's just it's already out of whack basically so, and then especially here in the rear um, and see here on the, where the pillow goes in just all the absolute crazy play back here I'm trying to hold the car so it doesn't move around but yeah it's like you know here I hit a bump it's going back forth in out so Got to completely rebuild that. Shocks. Going to do the shocks as well. Do the diffs. Basically, this is going to hopefully be a brand new car after. Um, when I'm done with it. may not look brand new, but at least everything will be tight. Uh, all the fluids are going to be changed. I got a screw kit coming for it as well. So, I'm going to basically take the whole car apart. And try and rebuild it. Everything else inside here. Servo works fine. ESC fine. Had to put a new fan on the motor. Um, motor's fine everything else is good on the car other than bearings uh, link, ball ends and this rear hub kind of deal so change all that out I have most of the parts already here but I'm, I'm still waiting for the ball ends for the servo arm here or not the servo arm but the little link that comes off of the servo there uh, those have tons of play in them. Also, the um, pivot balls. I have one set that come in a pack of four. So you can only do basically, here, there's four right here. You can only do one side or just do one one link on each side. So I'm going to change out all of those. Get everything ready for the spring. This car should be driving it a lot more at Otterville. I didn't drive it much just because, like I said, all the play that's in there, you do an adjustment, you don't even notice it. So I was just kind of just using this car to go out there and just bash with. And then the Truggy, all tight, everything was basically new on it. So just got to go through do the shocks on this one, which is not a problem. That'll be quick. Uh, but this thing's going to take up a lot of time. So that's why I'm going to start with that first. I already have the rear diff out. But I figured just before I completely destroy the rip apart the car, uh just show what happened with it so just got to keep an eye out on you know the ball ends and stuff like that i shouldn't have to worry now because at otterville uh it's not dusty there so shouldn't have a problem should be able to do adjustments and they should stay to where they're set and 
Yeah, I can't wait for that now. Uh, new layout to next year. But I also got the granite completely rebuilt, so that's all ready to go. I was going to take it out today, maybe, in the snow. And then I want to take back out the Typhon, and I put the castle system back in it. So that's why when I went in the snow, the Spectrum system, God, no power at all. Maybe if it was on 6S, but I'm only running this thing on 4S. So 4S with the castle system was way better. And yeah, that's about it for now. Thanks for watching.